So it's your boy Downsize and I'm back once again on my block with another hood classic. My childhood is a field. My history is a field. My legacy is a field. I come through here now, it's open, it's a field here, because I'm reminded of the stories my mom would tell me of her childhood here in the projects when they were here, which they lived in this section. And back then when they were in that section, only that section, the section on that side was built. This was a field. The park didn't even exist. According to those who were around then, there was two military barracks here, abandoned military barracks that um, that's all there was in the field. It's ironic that in my lifetime, growing up here, playing right here, Sitting on this with my friends, there used to be a big tree here, parking lot here, PJ, bumper, everyone else. And we thought that this place would always be here. We never imagined that this would come to pass. That what this was when, when my mother was a child that it would return back to that in her lifetime in my mother's lifetime in her 70 plus years on earth she saw this field turn into them projects that we would be raised in and now in my mom's final days it's returned back to the field and as I was coming here right now, as I was turning, I was thinking about this. So now these kids here in this area that are, that, are, that are here now watching this all grow up, they're gonna tell the next, once this comes up, how this was a field. In the same way that the story is told that this was a field Another generation comes, and this is all low income here, mind you. This is all projects. This is still all the hood. Granted, there's a lot of foreigners here, and there's a lot of out-of-towners that live here now. But, you see, it's returned back to that in my mother's lifetime. We're back to what used to be, watching it all grow again. And I'm here wondering what the next generation is gonna think of it. What are they gonna make of what they're giving here, this opportunity? Are they gonna grow old and rot here? And are they gonna turn this into the same that we did? Is the culture that's gonna be created here with these, with these new people in this environment, would, would, will they still be the same? Or will there be an evolutionary and a drastic change? Will this be a place that people come and, because they need it, they need that help, but they get that help and they move on to bigger and better. They realize the potential that's in them to grow, to be successful, to, to be anything they wanna be in life. That's the, that's the wonder about what's here today is what is what will become with the next a field of dreams now as i see it it's a field of dreams when for me it turned into a nightmare when i caught my my first case and went to prison and i began having reoccurring nightmares about trying to get back here and when i get back here there's no one here it's just a field Hopefully, 
this generation that comes here because there's going to be a lot more people. They went from, from, from single to two story, now they're four stories. There's that much more people that are going to be here in this area. Now, if, if, if the culture that's co-created by them here evolves into what it did then from my mother's generation to my generation to the next, because we're responsible for the decomposition of this place. We destroyed that opportunity. We took root here when we were never supposed to be. Those government programs ain't intended to keep us here like that forever, depending on the state. This is supposed to help us up and out. And that's my hope, man, that people will see that for themselves, especially those of us who come from here. It's gone, bro. It's gone. I can't walk no one through here and, and, and tell a story of this place or that place. It's gone. And the ge next generation, those here, do you think they care about that story unless it's there out there for them? Legacy can be lost here in the field of dreams, man. Peace. I'm out.